Firstly, I need to apologize for not making this video sooner. These past couple days have been really hard for me, and if you've been following me on Twitter, you know exactly how and why I was feeling the way I was feeling. In case you don't know, I'm sure everyone does, but in case you don't, Berserk's author Kentaro Mura has passed away on May 6, 2021. Now, despite being only halfway through Berserk, I did not expect his death to affect me the way it did, but it just made me realize how much I love this series and how much I love the characters, Guts, Griffith not so much, but Casca. It just, I just realized how connected I was to the story. Now, I know that this video is just going to be another thank you Mura video and the vast ensemble of videos that exist out there right now, but I needed to get this off my chest because I knew I wouldn't be able to move on with a clear conscience if I didn't. Another reason why I put this video off for so long was because I wanted to pretend like nothing happened. Or maybe I thought that's how it, I would get better, but I didn't. Or maybe I thought that this was all a bad dream, and that it was a prank by somebody, and I'd wake up soon, but... Going on with this false notion won't do any good. I needed to make this video mostly for myself, because... I can't go on denying reality that Yura is not with us anymore. And that hurts. It hurts a lot. Miura was more than just an inspiration or an influence. He was a legend. He paved the way for so many titles, from Dark Souls to Bloodborne to even movies like The Avengers, the scene where Thanos achieves the Soul Stone, direct parallel to Griffith and the Eclipse. And losing somebody like that it just, it's too hard to put into words how much that hurts the whole industry. Now, ignoring media, just imagine how many people Mura affected with his work. He impacted the lives of so many people just with his characters alone. You know, Guts is somebody that, no matter what hardships came his way, he never gave up in the end. Imagine the amount of people that he helped out with guts alone. People that have suicidal thoughts, people who thought about giving up on life, you know, some of them may have changed their mind and been inspired by guts. One of my friends has, I know that. I'm glad that the publishing company, Young Animal, gave time for Amira's family to grieve over his passing, but at the same time, I don't feel like it was fair for the fans. For two weeks, Miura was gone and I was just living my life and being happy and whatever, having fun while Miura was gone. That doesn't sit right with me at all and I just feel so bad now. I think what hurts me the most is that we won't be getting the conclusion to Berserk. We won't be getting Guts's confrontation with Griffith. We won't be getting the revenge that he sought after for so long. We won't get to see how his relationship plays out with Casca we won't be getting any sort of closure and that really hurts and I know that Mira has a chapter or two left that he didn't publish or maybe his editors can take over but I won't accept that because whatever his editors put out that is not Mira. I know that for a fact we no one nobody will can know what he was thinking exactly and you know, Berserk will be different if it does continue on. And I'm sorry, but I won't be able to see that as the original series. I consider that more of a spin-off than anything. And because of that, well, that's one of the reasons, but not the only reason. But I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to sit around and say, Berserk not ending does not matter. Because that's just... A straight up lie. I know that if there's one thing Muir regretted, it was that he was not able to finish his life's work. 
Muir has spent the vast majority of his life writing Berserk, so just imagine how he must have felt not being able to finish it after encapsulating and influencing so many lives. Just imagine how he must have felt knowing that he couldn't give people the closure he wanted. I think that to me is the saddest part. I think that even though Mira regrets not finishing Berserk, I think he's still more than content with the amount of lives he's impacted. And I think that alone makes him happy. And if he's happy, then, well, can't really say anything else to that, huh? And yeah, I, I don't really have much else to say for this video. I'm glad I got this all out of my chest, and I hope you all understand where I'm coming from, too. I'm praying for all the manga authors out in Japan, or even the rest of the world, because the working conditions in which they have to persevere through are pretty inhumane, and I don't know if overwork was what led to Miura needing an Arctic dissection, but I'm sure that it played a role in his death. Definitely did. There's not much else I can say that I haven't already, so thank you, Kentaro Miura, for creating Berserk and dedicating your life to such an amazing story and changing the lives of so many people. You will be missed, and yeah, thank you.